Good morning, fans, private deer FX. Coming at you, month end here, Wednesday, November 30th. Uh, important day today. Uh, lots of releases happening today. Powell speaking tonight, 7.30 uh, Swiss time, which is annoying um, just because we're old and we get tired after a full day of trading and then have to be alert at 7.30 and then manage risk until 9. I would say high speed risk until 9 uh, is just annoying. So... Um, that is what it is. We also have ADP today, and then uh, pre pre preliminary GDP, GDP out of the states. In Europe, we have a bunch of CPIs. Uh, Italian, we got German bond auction, we got German uh, unemployment change coming as well. Uh, nothing too serious in Europe, but uh, the back end today is is interesting, with uh, prelim GDP and Powell. All the smart guys, all of the uh, sort of high IQ global macro guys are, are expecting, um, you know, obviously Powell to be hawkish. It's a question whether the market believes uh, in his hawkishness, right? Hawkishness. Um, you know, we'll have to, we'll just have to look at price and see where we are. Obviously, dollar yen is at the lower end of the range. Uh, and dollar yen is the horse today this is boj up here 15190 they came in at 151 at 15080 um popped it down to 146 that day and and then they were f dancing around up here in the high 140s this was the first big bar where the market decided that no matter how hawkish these guys say they are they're not that hawkish because they're worried about um, the recession. They're worried about problems in the economy. And also, they're probably worried about the fact that if you own $31 trillion worth of debt, the higher you put interest rates, um, the more fucked you are. So we'll have to see. Uh, everyone's going to be leaning right, uh, which means the big money uh, will be made left uh, if he's dovish. And if he's not dovish... Um, we probably won't trade. Uh, if he is dovish, um, uh, we'll poke the bear and, uh, look for some bids to hit in dollar yen. 137.50 range lows, uh, recently. Elsewhere, Aussie not doing too much. This is sort of China's fine, China's not fine trade. Um, yesterday up to 67.50, but now back down. Uh, not really sure what to do with Aussie. CAD, uh, we've been playing a lot in dollar CAD. 136.50 yesterday. There's a big merger going on in Canada. Uh, we were told uh, by the Secret Squirrel Committee, um, RBC is buying HSBC Canada. Uh, they would need dollars for that. So there should be, there might be a little more dollar Canada to buy into month end here. Um, this is one of the reasons Dollar Canada has been a little bit overly bid, uh, you could say. It seems a bit mispriced, right? Crude um, is now, you know, 79 bucks. This looks mispriced in general. Um, but there's some real money flows you got to be aware of. Your dollar, not doing too much. Uh, obviously, we put in that 104.90 high. This is the 137.50. It's exactly the same psychological point. So if you wanna, if he's dovish and you wanna buy some euros, 104.90 is like the is the big line in the sand number. Cable, uh, we're just playing this on the short side. There was a weird bid yesterday at 80. Who saw that? Um, see this these bars here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen hours someone was sitting there at one nineteen eighty i wonder who that was um we've now been to the lows of uh 42 a number of times the problem with 42 is it bleeds right into this very big support which is 119.08 um so i think you know 
just selling high ones in cable is is what we're doing obviously today with the back end news we're not going to go into Powell with any big ass position so we're going to keep it super light this morning um, but selling high ones in cable is has paid so far uh, this week Euro Sterling not doing much still keeping our eye on 8572 which is now way far away Cad Yen uh, yesterday wow down to 101.40. Um, we actually did scoop some of this on this um, mean reversion um, signal here. And it worked, so it was fine. But uh, what were we doing down there? That was the that was the dollar CAD buying for the merger, I'm pretty sure. But um, on a purely technical note, 101.45, uh, very, very important. CAD yen. Euro CAD, <laughs> same, same nonsense. Up to, um, what the hell was the high up there? 141.26. How do you like that, daddy -o. Uh And then slapped right back down. Again, this was post, this was, this, this, this was sort of, Post fix dollar CAD flows. We're putting everything out of whack in the CAD world. Uh, I think dollar CAD went up to 136.40 or something. Yeah, 136.40. Wow. Um, dollar again, we talked about dollar Swiss. We're no longer, uh, you know, we got paid out of our longs. It's fine. You grabbed 100 pips. That was a beautiful thing. Um, jobbing it around in the meantime, so that was nice. But we're square dollar Swiss. There's not really much to do here in dollar Swiss. Here's your 200 day, uh, 96.33, so it should be resistance first time up there. Um, but nothing really to do. CAD Swiss, also nothing to do. Kiwi, uh, very much like the Aussie chart. Is this going to turn? I don't know. Is China fucked? If they are, sell Kiwi and Aussie. If China's fine, uh, Kiwi and Aussie are going to be fine. But the interesting thing about Kiwi is uh, 200 days here. We haven't been above the 200 day uh, since April. So keep an eye on that. 62.90, we'll call it uh, 200 day. Euro Swiss, nobody cares. Uh, Aussie yen, you know, a little bit like the CAD yen chart here, but not as extreme. Um, Nothing to do in Aussie yen. Same with Euro yen, Sterling yen also in the middle of nowhere. Our pals uh, in South Africa holding up pretty well, right? Holding up pretty well. 1690s is, is, uh, is an important point here. Um, if he's dovish today, Dollar Czar might be an interesting uh, vehicle. Although, of course, the liquidity in Dollar Czar at 730 Swiss time is not ideal. So pick your pick your poison carefully there. Euro yen just ranging around. Norway is not doing anything. Kind of trading with oil. Uh, the hex dollar max broke down through these range lows yesterday, but now popped right back up. This looks like it's going to be a turn. Um, interesting to see what happens if it gets back above 1930. Dollar Turkey just totally fucked. Um, that country. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're doomed. Crypto's higher today. Uh, supposedly Sam Bankman Fried is going to be on TV or something tonight, watching whatever. Like, you know, I don't know, but crypto is higher. 1270 Ethereum. Maddox at 87 again. Uh, these are the two that we own. No longer own Solana. Never really owned Bitcoin. Haven't owned Bitcoin since 900. Well, we sold it at 5,000, but that was like, I don't know, a decade ago, it seems. Um, anyway, crypto's higher, and gold is uh, also higher. Not sure why. I'm not really, not really too in tune with what the hell gold's doing. Here's your 200-day 1804. Meaningless today. Um, so, if you listen to this video... Uh, to this point, <clears throat> you're probably saying, why did I even listen to this video? Um, you probably have a very good point. 
we're really not going to be doing much this morning. Uh, if we see any sort of uh, extremes, we may dabble a little bit, but um, back end of the day is where all the action is going to be. So we're going to rest up, maybe get some exercise this morning, and uh, be ready to go uh, for the back end of the day. With that, I bid you a good day trading. Make some dough. Why not? You deserve it. See you tomorrow. Ciao.